So I'm going to do some no spark testing on this GX160. So the first test I'd do is set your meter to ohms. And make sure this ain't grounded to earth. Because obviously this is your kill oil level kill switch. So that's got really high resistance, so I know that's working all right. You can test these both ways, just make sure the diodes are fine. So no reading one way in diode mode. Switch the leads over. And you get a reading, a voltage drop. So that seems to be all right. So at least I know that side of the system is working now. So I'm gonna go around to the uh, coil. Ignition coil. So there's your coil. So the next thing you want to check is your air gap. There's a little air gap between the coil here and the flywheel. Notice that magnetic wheel comes past here, generates electric in here for your primary winding, that then creates the spark in your secondary winding. So just make sure the air gap's correct. The air gap should be about 0.4 millimetre. But check your specs though, because I might have got that wrong. It's off the top of my head. So if that gap's alright, I'm going to check the primary winding. So you've got the wire here from your primary, it goes up underneath your tank. So you connect one lead to that. And then the second lead, just touch it to the metal of the uh, coil. In, in ohms mode resistance. So that's 0 0.9, so that's perfect, it's about 1 ohm. In fact it's 1 ohm now. So that's fine. To test, to test the secondary side, you touch against the metal again and the inside of your lead here. So that's saying 15 kilo ohms, which is over spec, but it's probably due to other paths that the current's traveling. So if you want it to be 100% certain, you take that off and test it on the bench. But I don't want to do that because that means resetting the gap. So, and uh, lastly, your spark plug, really. So, to test your spark plug, you just put one lead to the top and touch the electrode there. So I'm getting four kilo ohms there. Sometimes I have to clean these electrodes to get a good contact. So four kilo ohms, and then test between there and the side of the body, you should get nothing. If you're getting readings there, it means it's it's broke down the insulation. If you if you're not getting no reading there, then it's broke in the centre. So that is about it. So we tested the all level cutout switch, the diode alert, uh, oil level alert module. We tested the primary and secondary sides of the coil and that tests obviously the lead as well, for ohms at least. We tested the spark plug to make sure that's fine. And the only last thing really would be your on and off switch, so. Just make sure that's working fine as well. I'll just do that now. So, I've just got the one end of the meter in the switch. 
a non-continuity, I just tested the switch. So, that's fine. <laughs> 